Hey guys, Spanish Designs here with another really nice tutorial. So today we're going to actually go over something that I have recently began to do. Uh, don't mind this, I'm actually going to open up a new tab here and just find my Spanish Designs here. Um, YouTube.com slash Spanish Designs. Okay, so on my new channel, I have this effect where it takes my text and kind of makes it look glitchy or something. I like that effect. I'm going to show you how I do that. It's really quite simple. What we're going to do is go into After Effects CS5 and make a new composition. Sometimes After Effects doesn't work, so we have to just kind of work with it here. Let's see. Force quit. Sorry. Just have to ignore. Try again. Once it loads up correctly, it'll work perfectly. Okay, so now we can make a new composition. Just set everything to what you'd usually set it to. Set this to about 59.94, that's fine. Set the duration to just one frame so that you have one picture. Hit OK. And basically, you can just go into your project and import a file like a picture. So I'm going to use the picture that I used before, which happens to be Vanish and Anodize, which I call it, and it's a very nice image. So we're going to use that. All we have to do is drag it into our composition here, and just click on this, hold shift, and drag out until it is fully fitting the composition. So that's done. Now we can click down here, go up to Effect, Video Copilot, and Twitch. Now Twitch will allow us to do some really cool kind of glitchy effects. So what we're going to do is go down to the Enable tab, click down and enable slide and if you wanted to maybe color or light but we're just going to do slide. Uh, be behavior really does not matter. So we're just going to go to Operator Controls. Now this is where you can get really creative. It takes a while to figure out what you're doing once you figure it out, it's easy. We're going to go up here and change this to 100% slide amount. And then just move this up a little bit. And you can see it starts to slide. So we'll keep it at 2.5. And what we want to do is go down to the bottom, Unique Slide Seed, and just change that around until we find a really nice, pretty subtle, slide effect makes it look nice and glitchy we're gonna actually change our slide amount a little bit so that we know and now here's the cool part I like to do something called an RGB split so we're gonna go down to slide RGB split and turn that up to 100 percent and then slide twitches if you just increase that a little bit you get a very nice RGB kind of effect. So if we turn up our slide amount a little more, you can see it starts to bring out our RGB a little bit and make it look a little more glitchy, like they're kind of out of line, and I like that. So basically you can mess with everything else. Um, slide spread really just puts it out of line. This one if I set it like this, it'll make it look like it's vertically misaligned. But if I keep changing it over a little bit, it'll make it look a little different. So that's all to what kind of look you're looking for. Slide tendency, we play around with that. It really just wants to know which way you want it to slide. We don't really want it to slide that much, so we're just going to keep it at zero. And basically, that's one of the really cool effects, I usually just put that behind my original text. Let's see what happens when we play with, say, color. Go down to the color tab and colorize. Let's keep it at the default and see how that looks. So, color twitches, we'll add some and just add a color amount. And basically, this is better for video because it'll change the color around a lot. But if we use our seed again, we can change the color like this. 
So basically we set it at 31 and here's our final image. I have my render setting at full instead of auto which is usually just glitchy. Just keep it at full. We can take a nice good glance at our image here. We just pretty much center it in our composition. You can see it looks like a very nice image that you could use for pretty much anything. What I did with this image now is I put it into Photoshop and I used a motion blur and set that to around the middle and then did that as well with the original text and then placed the final original image on top of that and it would have the whole composition behind it and it would give it a very nice effect like I did so. So I'll show you one more time what it looks like and hopefully you'll like it. And um, yeah, just let me know what else you want to learn how to do. I'll be happy to teach you. So here's our uh, Bench Designs logo that I did that for. And then, of course, this part here. So that's the final image. If you want, you can uh, use this for basically any image you want. So just mess around with stuff, mess around with it in videos. And again, the program I'm using is. Adobe After Effects CS5 with a program called Twitch, which is by, I think, Video Copilot, videocopilot.net. Go and check that out. You can buy it. It's very, very much worth it. I recommend it. So that's pretty much it for now. I hope this was a nice tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.